I didn't even realize there was a rain bed happening on Juma. I hope that they do actually get rain because apparently it is looking very, very dry. Here is looking much greener, on the other hand, although this is a part of the, the area where there's, the grass is still quite long. The wildebeest didn't spend too much time here. And we've got the cutest scene of two baby elephants playing about. And they've been chasing each other and running up and down and up and down. One in particular, the littlest one, is barely visible above the grass at times. And it's been trotting backwards and forwards like it's had a sugar rush. Like somebody let it eat a whole load of chocolate and some sugary drinks. Watched calmly by the females around it. They really do have massive tusks here, some of them. Oh, little one, you've calmed down now. Hmm? Used up all your energy. Looking for a meal. I put myself here in the hope that they are going to move towards us gradually. They don't seem to be showing any intention of it. This is where we saw the elephant give birth. Well, we it was on the other side of the road, but it was essentially this area. A very, very special moment. Oh look, elephant's about to be joined by little Tommies, bouncing across in front of them. Thompsons are always running. Always bounding about. And the myopic elephants keeping an eye on what's going on, checking to see, listening, smelling, before relaxing once again. Proud cat mama, good morning and welcome again to the Sunrise Safari. Elephant tusks are used for a couple of different reasons. One is defense and intimidation, particularly with the males when they come into conflict with each other over mating rights to females. Usually only the really big mature bulls will get into proper serious fights and they can actually die. It's unusual, but they can be killed. There's stab marks from another elephant's tusks and there's the famous case of Mafufunyan. In the the grumpy one, who was one of the big tuskers in Kruger, and he had a hole in the top of his head that was that they suspect was made during a fight with another bull elephant, a hole in the top of his head that he could actually breathe through, like a blowhole, which is quite surreal. So sort of went right through his skull into his sinus cavity. Then they also use them for digging and for stripping the bark off trees. Now we don't see that as often. Oh, bye, Tommy. Coming, going backwards, forwards, where are you off to now? <laughs> Running for the sheer joy of it. So they don't do that, do that as much here. And the reason for that is simply because there's just that much more grass and it's really good quality grass. So they're not as worn down as the tusks of the elephants that are on Juma. But they do use them for digging and as a tool, essentially. Remember, these are modified teeth. They grow throughout their lives, and they can break, and it can be quite painful when they break as well. I think, I really think that one of the reasons why we see longer tusks on the females here is because they don't use their tusks as often for scraping on bark and for digging. Hardly ever see them do it here. LM, no, actually. Funnily enough, you can't use the tusks to determine the elephant's age. And that, that's because it's a genetic thing. So whilst, yes, as a, as a sort of a general rule, a, an older female will have longer tusks. They often break. They often wear down. And some elephants are just born tusks use that to gauge the, the, the age of the elephant, but really it's far better to gauge how old an elephant is by the size when they're not fully grown. And then you look at the indentations around their foreheads. They get, as they grow older, they get more and more sunken around the temporal region and their bones become more prominent. So whilst it's difficult for us to accurately age the elephants by sight, um, it, that's one of the ways that we can get a rough idea. The best way to age them would be to have a look at their molars because they have a relatively set, they have set ages at which they grow the different sets of teeth. So you start, they start to get their sort of their permanent 
first set of teeth when they're little, then at 15 they get their next set, and then at 30 they get their next set, 45 their next set, and wait, I've got that wrong, 45 is the last set that they get. So you can look, they will go through set ages and they will have six sets of teeth throughout their lives and that's the way that you can gauge exactly how old an elephant is. Of course getting an elephant to say open wide and, and show you the molar is not particularly easy. So it's quite difficult to do just purely on sight. We guess roughly we, and you usually find when we age an elephant we'll say 20-ish, mm -hmm, 30-ish, somewhere around there but we're not giving you an exact accurate figure. at these two. Mischief personified right there. <laughs> One about six months younger than the other. Both, I think both little boys as well. So full of nonsense. it is entirely possible that the elephant herds in the Mara travel just as far as those in South Africa do. I think that we haven't been here long enough to really gauge because I've, I've seen a lot of elephants that I've come to recognize that stay in pretty much the same place but there's a lot of food availability at the moment. Oh. <laughs> This is, I'm sorry, this is so easily sort of translatable into a human context where you've got two little boys and one is slightly older than the other and the younger one is slightly more energetic but at the same time is following along behind the older boy and getting into all sorts of trouble as a result. It just wants to play. So Michael, I, I, the elephants here will travel large distances as well. <laughs> distracted by this baby elephant. It doesn't know what it's doing. Backwards, forwards, which way are we going? Yay! Come catch me! Oh, you didn't come and catch me. Okay, I'll run past you again. <laughs> Look at me, I'm big and scary. Rick, elephants have very long lifespans, so they can live up to 60, in some cases even 70 years for the females. The males don't make it quite as long, you're usually looking at around about 50 to 55. So they do, <laughs> they do live, that's a female, the little one is a female, with the, with the twistiest tail I've ever seen, it looks like a corkscrew. <laughs> Did somebody step on your tail by any chance when you were little? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a proper break. <laughs> Twirly tail. What you doing, Twirly tail? So they do have long lifespans. They do have incredible brains. It's three times the size of a human being's brain. Obviously, proportionately, we have the larger brain, but theirs is three times the size of ours. Tremendous instincts, tremendous wisdom, and a tremendous capacity to learn. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and be entertained by this baby elephant for a bit longer. Let's go back to Shadow and have a look at...